the push-through coolers using many modern graphics cards are a blessing and a curse at the same time. While the cooler is intentionally designed to move the hot air from the GPU heatsink far from the graphics card, it in turn pushes it right towards the memory modules or the CPU tower cooler if you use one. In short, it helps one component but hurts another. In my daily system, I use four Samsung B-Dye sticks, which I overclock very heavily, so I need to run them at 1.49 volts. What temperature is safe for RAM, you ask? It really depends on the IC type, but even B-Dye doesn't like to be run at over 50 degrees centigrade for many hours. But my DIMMs always reach these 50 degrees when playing graphically intense games, which don't require too much CPU power. Since the BIOS fan curve follows CPU temperature by default, the case fans simply don't spin fast enough for sufficient airflow. Unfortunately, GPU temperature can't be used as the source for the BIOS fan curve. Well, you could always set the fan speed to 100% at all times, but there is a more elegant solution provided you have a fancier motherboard which supports external temperature probes. My Strix board contains a so-called T-sensor header, and it even came with a probe in its retail box. I decided to insert the probe directly into the GPU heatsink, close to where the video memory chips are located. When running AAA titles, the probe reads over 60 degrees, so I could actually use the same fan curve with multiple sources, that is CPU and T-sensor. The extra draft in the case helped me decrease the temperature of the RAM modules by over 4 degrees and no extra ugly fans had to be strapped to the sticks to keep them cool, even though this also is an option. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.